extended prosecution, which we have not got to make. I must say that yesterday, when armed terrorists attacked our clients, residents, in fact, the attack took place on Monday, the 17th, we filed an application for the title of Kenya, and we did obtain orders stopping the arrest, arraignment for registration of any charge sheet against our clients. The DCI, in August, this, proceeded to forcefully break into our clients' premises and forcefully arrested and detained more than 12 hours in disregard of the court order. The court order was served on the officers and their offices. Today in court, we've informed the magistrate of the existence of the court orders. we confirmed to the DPP who, in true duty and respect of the Constitution, has communicated to court that we shall at all times be guided by and comply with orders of the courts as and when issued. And in that regard, the DPP has proceeded to inform the court that they do not intend to proceed to register or continue any criminal proceedings against Mr. Jimmy Wajigi and Ms. Irene Nzisa Wajigi until any further orders or directions are issued by the High Court. So as we stand today, there are no ongoing criminal proceedings against Mr. Wajigi and Ms. Irene Nzisa. The DPP has accepted and has committed to obey that court order and by conduct they have. We must now draw parallel between the office of the DPP and the DCI. Uh, we will not fight criminal justice, criminal justice in the way that DCI is conducting itself in this regard of court orders. When they engage in acts that almost amount to criminal acts and forcefully break into people's homes, forcefully arrest and detain, where do they intend those people? You only take them to court. And if the same court has given an order, lawfully so, and served upon the officers of DCI, we'll do a great service to this country if the DCI officers respected those court orders. Because at the end of the day, you go back to those very same courts. And I must say this, you will note that the purported judge sheet on which the internal prosecution of my clients was based was written under the hand of Mr. George Kinot, who was the party 